Yo, Mad Dog Killer Son, MDKS, follow the movement, not the moving. You understand? Um, like my man Diligence says, shout out to you. In depth, intelligent, insightful, three eyes, three eyes, keep watch like I ain't trying to give up my jewels, my niggas. Understand? Anyway, um, follow me on Twitter, Mad Dog Killer 077. Um, Facebook, join my review page, Mad Battles Reviews. Uh, Mad Battles Reviews with an S in the middle. No S at the end. Um, and Mad Dog Killer Son. Subscribe, you know, do what you do, what have you. Um, let me give a shout out to Chris Unbiased. That's my dog right now. Yo, um, for real, for real, uh, I fucks with you heavy. And he always giving love, so that's what it is. Um, Yo, shout out to Smack. Smack been doing his thing, yo. You know, people got to start um, really appreciating what Smack bring to the table. He pays his um, talent. He puts on a good show. And he makes sure the footage and the quality of what he's doing is presentable to Battle Rap. So shout out to him. And shout out to Organic. You guys been on your grind. Everybody, you know, everybody uh, complains when you have a problem or when you make a mistake. But for the most part, by and large, um, you guys put put on the best the best battle rap machine on the internet and for the culture. So salute to y'all. That being said, um, KG the poet was being interviewed by. Um, Angry's fan radio. Uh, shoot, salute to Caps. I don't know how he do it, but he be getting people wilding or at their worst, ready to s say whatever. And um, KG the poet was pissed because his man Nitty didn't get paid from Battle of the Bays, and this guy Teddy Grizzly, who also was uh, the promoter for Duel of the Desert, um you know, was involved with paying Mr. Fab too much and allowing a lot of f people to come in free. You could watch the interview. To, you know, KG dropped a couple of jewels that people may not have known not being from there. But the thing that was a little concerning for some of the bloggers, a little concerning for people just looking and watching, is that KG start talking um, real crazy. And he starts saying there's a green light on Teddy Grizzly because he's not paying his man. And his man, is this gets nitty is like his brother and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yo, and when I see him, it's on. And he got 48 hours and he got to pay him before the Super Bowl and da, 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 And he's going on, on, on. And people's like, yo, stop snitching on yourself. Yo, you're you going to get yourself jammed up. You know, yo, chill with that, KG. You, you talk it. And KG is not snitching on himself, first of all. All right. So all the bloggers, all the people that say he said no. I, I grew. I, I'm telling you, I know. He, if he was snitching on himself, this Teddy Grizzly guy would have been touched already. So like he would have said something, and then later that day, like it would go down like this: Yo, yo, homie, when I see you, um, it's on. You know you gonna catch a couple of hot ones. No lie. You know when I see you, you know you get all of that. Like six, say six hours later, the next day. All of a sudden, this dude laid out. So I'm about my business. That's what I do. And I said it. Now, if if I'm really about my business, I'm not going to post that on the internet. I'm not going to text him. You know what I'm saying? I might talk tough to him on the phone because, you know, maybe that's the only way I could get to him right at the moment. Or maybe I might see him and be like, yo, homie, if this shit don't pop by tomorrow, this is what it is. The next time I see you is on. And leave it at that. Or I might just, just look at it and be like, yo, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right, my nigga. And then next thing you know, next thing you, uh, I see him, it's on. That, that's how you sort of handle business. You leave the media, leave the phone, the text, and all that shit out the window. Leave it out there. Leave. Don't put that in the mix. Facebook, none of that. Handle your business. If you feel a certain kind of way, handle your business and keep it moving. Now, the reason why I say KG was not snitching because KG was just talking reckless. Now, talking reckless means you're just talking crazy out your mind, but you have no intention and no plans to act up on nothing you're saying. That's reckless talk. Now, anything can happen with reckless talk. Somebody could call you on it, and next thing you know, you got to sort of put up or shut up. Or they might feel some kind of way and step to you. But 
the you know the thing that I want to tell KG is when you young, 20, 15, 18, you can ride for your niggas all day. You ain't got nothing to lose. Yo, you got beef, I got beef. Your beef is my beef. You know what I'm saying? You bleed, I bleed. All that shit. You know, it don't matter. You, you ride, I ride. You know, whatever. When you 30, my nigga, and you got kids and a job, you not, you not riding through the hood like that. I'm not looking for no nigga because of some other nigga. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not G'd up for you. You know, I got responsibilities. You know, I, I got a job. I got a family. I, I ride for my family. You know, if somebody do something to my family. I, but I'm not. I'm not in the hood looking for beef, and I'm not looking to fight for someone else's beef right now. And you can say I'm not real no more. You can say I'm not whatever, but it is what it is. I'm just keeping it uh, a stack with you. You know, if I got a problem, I got a problem. Period. Nobody else, and I don't want nobody taking on my beef. If I have beef, I'm not calling up my dude. Yo, I got beef, man. We, yo, we need to handle this before it gets scandalous. No, no, no. I got beef. I'm a man, I got beef, I'm going to handle it. How about Sick Fit? So, it almost seems like if he's calling up Angry Fans Radio to sort of get the support of the media and the support of the fans and the culture to put pressure on this Teddy Grizzly guy to pay Nitty. That's really what I think the whole core was about. And to get that information out there that Teddy Grizzly is not doing good business. And I'm really trying to avoid a full blog where I'm talking about the business side of battle rap, um, I really don't like doing these types of blogs where it's all negative. So this blog is going to be negative. The um, Also, the other part of this blog, when I go into the battle with um, Arsenal and Big K, a little negative. And I'm really looking for um, somehow for people to just learn how to do business better and keep their business out of the media 